Hello Leo, welcome back to the Lynx Tarot. My name's Monica and this reading is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're covering January 2023 or the next 30 days. Remember all of my readings are timeless so they're intended for whenever you're watching. So we're covering your New Year's inspiration messages and whatever spirit wants to say. Okay, our first card out here, we have the Grizzly Bear and Power. I am indestructible. I honor my intuition and go where it leads. Love and gentleness are my real strength. I never give up. I will succeed. Yes, success, good things happening during this time period for you, Leo. Okay, success is there for you if you seek it. Just, you know, in my readings, I like to encourage people to um, listen to where the energies are, but only you can decide what's best for you. All right, so this is the Guardian Angel Messages Tarot. Let's see what we have for Leo. We're going to start with your most important situation during this time period, then your challenges and inspirations and outcome, and how you can influence your outcome, which is what it's all about. Okay, Leo, what do we have? Most important situation, very nice. We have justice, so you could be dealing with a Libra, but not necessarily fairness, the law, and karma. So if you're dealing with a legal situation, this does not have to mean a lawsuit or court, but it could. Um, because this card is coming out right now, I feel like it will be in your favor. The outcome will be in your favor as long as you, you know, follow your intuition, follow the energies around you, and um, do everything you know that you need to do to ensure the best outcome there could be. Keeping in mind there are other players, other people involved, so things might turn out might not turn out perfectly according to what is in your mind right now, but you will see that it's all for the best, whatever pans out, okay? You will. Okay, so for your challenges and inspirations, we have the Ten of Fire. So feeling really tired, like you just can't go on anymore. But the good news here is that you're at the end of this cycle because it's a 10. You're putting these burdens down. A decision is going to be made um, partly by you in ways, oh, because of ways you have taken action, I should say. And um, you're just making this decision, you know, to put down these burdens that may not have all been yours. Overworked, stressed, and imbalanced. So this could have to do with money too. Um, you might be feeling drained, like you're working really hard, you're being torn in several different directions, and you're feeling like you just can't get ahead, but you're coming to the end of that, okay? You're coming to the end of feeling heavy and burdened, like you just can't get ahead, okay? And the karma card here, the justice card here right next to it, is showing balance, okay? So that's really good together. Okay, so the message here is to just keep going. Um, let let go of this burden. It's time to let go. And don't, don't give up though. Don't give up because there's something better here. And look, we have the five of air, okay? Mistakes, melodrama, and reassessment. So this might require a reassessment. If you're feeling really burdened and tired and you just you have to take a time out and reassess the situation, pick your battles, the five of air, five of swords, that's about picking your battles. If you feel like you've made mistakes, don't be so hard on yourself because that's just gonna drag your energy down and we don't want that. Okay, let's see what else we have here. We're gonna clarify with the rider deck. All right, what else do we have? Ooh, got a pop out there and I actually caught it. Eight of Pentacles, so working hard, being focused, enjoying making money, okay? You might be learning something new. Um, this Justice card could have to do with your work. Maybe fairness is coming in. Maybe you are giving the promotion that you deserve that you didn't think you were gonna get. Maybe it looked like somebody else was going to get it and it fell through and it ended up falling in your lap after all, okay? It might require further training but I feel like it's gonna be paid training. Okay, let's see what else we have here. Let's clarify the 10 of fire and the five of air. Ooh, okay, I like this. The 10 of fire is being clarified by the queen of cups. The queen of cups is very insightful, intuitive. She's psychic. Um, she's very emotional 
and I feel like this energy is coming in. It might be another person that's kind of um, soothing your, your stress. Someone's saying, it's okay, let's go to lunch, I'll treat. They're saying, like, Leo, let's just get you away from the situation. You know, you can clean your house later because see like she's got clutter and all this junk behind her. She's trying to do all the stuff and can't get ahead. And someone's like, no, no, no. All that stuff will be there for you when you get back. You don't have to do it now. You can do it later. Or I'll come back. Let's go to lunch and I'll come back with you and help you clean up. But the thing is, accepting the help. Okay, you have to accept the help. If you, if you want it, you have to accept it. That's the thing. All right, let's get one more here to clarify the five of air, hanged man. So Aries got a couple of these cards, I think. I think that I think Aries got justice and the hanged man. But you might want to you might want to listen to the Aries reading as well. Just seeing things from a different perspective, right? And with the five of air, like this is just strongly about really picking your battles. But with the hanged man you're not upset about it anymore. You're not struggling anymore. You're stepping past the anger part of whatever wasn't working out. And you're like, all right, I'm gonna step aside here and take another look at this. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see, let's clarify further here. Oops. All right, clarifying justice, the eight of pentacles. We have the six of swords. So you will be victorious over this. So if it's a court case, I'm getting strongly that you're gonna win. It's going to work out in your favor. If this has to do with the workplace or a promotion, it will work out in your favor. The Ten of Fire and the Queen of Cups is being clarified by the Seven of Pentacles. So you will have your harvest. Um, if you've been worried about money, I feel like this calm and peace is going to come in because something is going to sort itself out. Your money is going to come in. If you've been struggling to pay bills, the money is going to come in. So that's like your challenges and inspirations. Like know that it's going to get better as long as you know you've done everything that you can. The five of air and the hangman is being clarified by the high priestess for your outcome position. This is another strong intuition card, okay? It's important, Leo, to listen to your intuition. We're having this validated here with these two cards, okay? So it's very important. There could be a Pisces that you're dealing with as well. All right, so let's go over here to the angel messages and see what else we have for you, Leo. All right, Leo. Look out for your money and career reading, which is coming up very soon in the next series. Dreamer, go confidently in the direction of your dreams. Live the life you have imagined. Yes, you can reach this, Leo, if you wish. And we have journey. Difficult roads often lead to beautiful destinations. Never give up because great things take time. See, I wanna show you this one more time. Spirit is acknowledging it's been hard, Leo, but you're putting these burdens down. The burdens are coming to an end. Journey, difficult roads lead to beautiful destinations. Never give up. Great things take time, okay? Love it. And let's get one more from here. We have faith. Yeah, Leo, keep the faith. I love to. I love wrapping the reading up with this validating message. Don't cry over the past. It's gone. Don't stress about the future. It hasn't arrived. Live in the present and make it beautiful. And you have the power to do this, Leo. Awesome messages for you. Happy New Year, Leo. Do look out for your money and career readings coming up very soon. Thank you so much for being here. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you again soon.